the first thing what I did is since I am installing my Ratio 3 Wi-Fi sprinkler controller system in my garage wall first thing what I did is I switched off the power supply into my garage that's what you need to do before this don't do anything first step is switch off your power supply into the garage or whatever location you are installing your ratio go ahead and turn off the power so this is what i did is i have turned off my power hi everybody welcome to my channel in this video we will see how to install ratio smart sprinkler controller which is of 12 zones uh, i have seven zones but here i took uh, ratio 3 smart sprinkler controller with 12 zones so in this tutorial i will show you how to install that ratio sprinkler controller it is pretty easy so let's go ahead and see how to install it the first thing you do after unboxing the controller is just open this metal cover it is a magnetic system so just uh, lift it up open it and just make sure that all these switches are not damaged see here it is not damaged and also behind everything looks good here you see all looks good and this is just a magnet system so first make sure that the sprinkler the control sprinkler controller is not damaged so the next step is using these three holes as your reference make a holes on the wall where you will fit in this sprinkler controller to the wall okay so this is what i did it so i used these three holes as my reference and I made these three holes. So once I make the holes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten my ratio uh, controller to the wall using these screws, which I got with my ratio. So carefully like this, carefully just drill into the wall. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to even uh, drill a uh, screw into this uh, hole. So see here, I have drilled three screws. So now my ratio sprinkler controller is nicely secure to the wall. So here I'm replacing my old sprinkler, which was given to me by a builder with this Wi-Fi ratio. So when I unplugged and removed my old filter uh, sorry old sprinkler system what i did is i have carefully marked each and every wire of my old sprinkler system for example this white wire is c and this black wire is m and here also i have marked each wire for example this is zone one and this wire is zone two this wire is see here this is zone 3 so like that i have marked all my wires so this is this is zone 4 so i will strongly suggest before replacing when you unplug your old system try to mark each and every wire it will be easy for your reference so that's what so the advantage of this is once you mark now it's a simple matter of plugging the wire into each for example c goes here m goes here and you see zone one zone two zone three zone four now it's a matter of simply plugging these wires into respective slots pins okay so for, for me it's it will be really hard for me to put the pins uh, put the wires into the pin and record it so first what i will do is I will plug these wires into these pins and then I will continue my recording. So now see here, now I am trying to put this wire, my zone wire into this pin because this is my zone is six and I'm putting in this six pin slot. Just you need to push it and the same thing goes with seven. 
okay so just to reiterate so here i have c so i kept c in c slot i have kept m in m slot and this is one two zone three and this is four and this is five six and seven so i have seven zones this is it even though this is 12 zone ratio uh, sprinkler controller i have seven zones so i have kept the seven zones here this is my c and m as per my old sprinkler system i marked them when i unplugged my old sprinkler system i marked clearly all my wires and here i have s1 s s2 so i plugged in so the next step is i need to plug the power source I, and once i plug the power source let's see how it works so let me go ahead and plug this power source one thing i want to reiterate one more time is before installing the power supply please make sure that on to the location where you are installing this ratio controller the power is off i am installing this in onto the wall in my garage so i made sure that there is no power supply in my garage if you see the starting of this video you will see that i have switched off my power supply into this garage so that's the important thing before after doing that only please go ahead to the next step of installing the power supply to this controller if not please make sure that your power supply to this location wherever you are installing is turned off so see here this is the power supply power adapter i'm using the power adapter which i got with the control system so here you see you need to plug it, plug in this into this power in pin and give the this is my adapter which i got with this controller okay so now as my power into this garage has been shut off now i'll i will go ahead and switch switch it on the power supply and after that as per this manual which we got with this sprinkler controller system i'll be following the steps to install this register this controller or installer this controller in ratio app so these are the steps i'm going to this, these are the uh, this is a good user manual which you can follow just in case if you have any questions they, they give all the installation steps and after that they will also clearly give how to connect this controller to your wi-fi and also operate it so i'll be following this this uh, registration of this controller using into my ratio app i'll be following these steps once i set up everything it's really hard for me to record the steps in my ratio app so once i do everything i will i will test test my ratio and i will show you the final steps okay so once again i'll be switching off the power on into my garage and after that i will be using the steps as told in this manual to install the ratio app and then register my controller ratio controller and then test all my zones make sure that my sprinkler system is working properly see here i have turned on my power supply into my garage and this is what the first thing you will notice so it means that yes your installation is so far good so the power is flowing into this controller and you have all the zones so as i said as per this manual i'll go ahead and use ratio app to set up my uh, to register my controller in my app okay so just follow the instructions in this manual So I'm able to register the sprinkler controller 
Ratio 3 Sprinkler controller to my Ratio app. So first I installed the Ratio 3 app and then I create using my email address and password. I created an account and then after that I uh, added my uh, controller to this app. For example, you have this plus sign, then you have this sprinkler controller. So just go ahead and add the sprinkler controller and uh, just follow the uh, follow the steps and where it will ask for your location either you can share the location or give just uh, give an approximate location then it will ask for the uh, the more the main important thing is you need to give the serial number it, either it will ask you to scan this barcode if not you can enter the serial number manually so just enter the serial number and then once uh, it tries to connect to your wi-fi network and then your controller will be added to your wi-fi network and also at the same time it will be added in your uh, app with the controller and after that you can set up your zones that's what i did it i have seven zones i have set up my seven zones i have set up my schedules so after that now let's go ahead and see whether this is working fine or not so let's let's just test quickly test a couple of zones and say is it good or bad so let's go ahead and do a quick test whether we have set up everything properly or not. So let's go ahead and do a quick test of our zone. So in the Ratio app, I'm selecting my controller. Then here you see you have zones. And let's go ahead and test my zone number three. There is something called as quick run. Let's go ahead and test it. And here you see it is saying for three minutes because this is just a quick run. I'm doing for one minute. So let's go ahead and see. And if you come and see here, my zone 3 is running. See here? So my zone 3 is running. So like this, I'll be testing all my zones to make sure that my ratio is set up properly. So let me go ahead and test all my zones. I have tested all my zones and they are working properly. So we are done with the installation of this ratio sprinkler controller system. So I would like to re reiterate a few things. Uh, first thing is, before starting any of this work, please shut down the power supply into this location. I have installed in my garage. First thing I did is switch off my power supply. I shut down my power supply into my garage. And the second thing is, when I replaced my old, when I took off my old sprinkler system, I have carefully marked all my wires. For example, I mark this as like C and this is like M and this is 1, 2, 3. So these are zone wires. So I have carefully marked each zone wire with the, the respective label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I have marked this with S1 and S2. The advantage of this one is once you mark it, it will be easy for you to just plug in the respective wire into the respective zone or the uh, respective wire into the respective pin. So that will mark, that will drastically help you in installation of the system or else it will take a long time for you to figure out which zone what is the zone where and which will go into the which pin so i will strongly uh, encourage when you are trying to replace the old one please mark label your wise so that it will be easy for you to install so the final step is i have this uh, uh, this controller comes with this uh, me uh, metallic plate uh, so it has a magnet over here so we need to just cover this controller with this plate like this just push it and due to the magnet it will just fit in so this is the final product how it looks like with all these power controllers power uh, power wires and power adapters so this is the final product so i hope you like this video please subscribe to, to my channel thank you very much